What is the difference between a cardiologist and a cardiac electrophysiologist? Sometimes this is very confusing. I sometimes get people asking me, gee, I'm seeing you as a heart rhythm specialist, so do you take over for my regular cardiologist? And the answer to that would be no. It's a little bit more complex because in the modern era, in the last, say, 15, 20 years, medicine has advanced to the point where we can do a lot more now than we could, say, 20 years ago. Say, 20, 30, 40 years ago, there was just a general cardiologist. He or she did everything. But truth be told, 30, 40 years ago, they really couldn't do that much overall compared to what we can do nowadays. And so now we actually have specialization within our field. And so the way it works is if you want to become a cardiologist, you have to do four years of medical school, then three years of residency training in internal medicine to become like your primary care doctor, and then a three-year fellowship in cardiology to specialize in cardiology. And that's where it used to end. But now, because there's so much more that we can do, and there's so many subfields in cardiology, specialized fields, now you can choose to go on and do more training to become a subspecialist. Some doctors, who once they finish their cardiology fellowship, their three-year cardiology fellowship, choose to do an extra one year of training to become one of the interventional cardiologists or what I call the plumbers. See, as a regular cardiologist, if somebody came in with a blocked heart artery and a heart attack, as a cardiologist, you can diagnose that, you can put the person on proper medications, but you cannot do the procedure to open up the blockage and put a little stent in. That does actually require extra year of training called an interventional cardiology fellowship, and those would be the plumber cardiologists. Those of us who specialize in the heart rhythm, those of us who are called cardiac electrophysiologists, we do a two-year extra fellowship in electrophysiology to specialize in the heart rhythm. And so we are the ones who put in pacemakers, defibrillators, do cardiac ablations to cure or treat abnormal heart rhythms, and therefore we are the electrical cardiologists, or as some of my colleagues refer to us as the electricians of the heart. So if you have certain medical problems with your heart, it's possible that you may actually have multiple cardiologists treating you. If you were to have atrial fibrillation or other abnormal heart rhythms, and you are being seen by a cardiac electrophysiologist or heart rhythm cardiologist or electrical cardiologist, that person is seeing you for the electrical rhythm problems. You may still have a regular cardiologist who deals with everything else. Or if you have both plumbing and electrical problems, you've had heart blockages, you've had heart attacks and stents, well then you may be followed by one of our interventional cardiologists or plumbers, and then those of us who specialize in electrical rhythm would treat your heart rhythm problems separately. So it is possible to need the services of multiple specialists within cardiology. Each of us are specializing and focusing on our field or our specific area that as it pertains to you, but it is normal to have multiple specialists and not just have one person do everything. So a cardiac electrophysiologist does not take the place of your regular cardiologist because regular cardiology has more to do with the plumbing issues and less to do with the electrical issues, but you might need to have the services of both. For everything atrial fibrillation related, please feel free to go to my website, drscottlee.com, where you're gonna find more resources and also can follow me on social media.